the San Diego Rose Canyon Fault, scenario of a magnitude 6.9 earthquake. This is a USGS animation, and we're going to talk about the geology of the fault. It's uh, between San Diego and uh, reaching all the way to Tijuana. It's in the area of the Salton Sea area, as we know that that's a, it's a volcanic area. And uh, of course, volcanic just north of that is also the cause of volcanic field where we had the earthquake in uh, July, the 7.1. Now, the uh, this animation is done by USGS. It's not an actual earthquake. And uh, it's a computer animation of the scenario 6.9 magnitude earthquake on the Rose Canyon Fault. The video presents the animation of computer simulated ground motions that might occur from the magnitude 6.9 earthquake rupturing the Rose Canyon Fault in Southern California. Simulation designed to accompany the San Diego Tijuana earthquake scenario exercise. It lies just offshore of San Diego, California, Tijuana, Mexico. The scenario rupture starts near the north end of the fault, propagates to the south using three-dimensional model of earth crust to track the rupture and seismic waves that radiate into the surrounding rocks. Simulation is just one of many possible realizations of what a rupture in this area can do. And here we have in real time, well actually it's faster than real time, about twice as fast. And as you can see, this is an area of uh, subduction. Sorry about that, that sometimes it uh, locks up a little bit. But um, Oceanside, and uh, this is 21, 50 seconds later, 50 seconds later, the uh, radiation it radiates into the surrounding areas really high up. As you can see, it's a strong earthquake. 6.9 is a strong earthquake. According to USGS, this Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon Fault, the San Diego section, Fault locations onshore and in some limited offshore areas, generally well located. The central portion of the fault zone is offshore and lies well defined. Urbanization in the San Diego area has somewhat limited the accurate location of some of the fault strands. Northern onshore portion is demonstrably Holocene based on numerous geotechnical studies, as well as the historic Long Beach earthquake. The southern onshore portion through San Diego is also demonstrably active based on geotechnical research studies. The intermediate offshore portion is presumed Holocene based on sparse evidence of displacement of previous young Holocene sediments offshore as well as continuity to the better defined onshore sections. The fault has seven sections. Section designations offer Fisher and Mills designating three segments offshore, two segments onshore of La Jolla, and one southern segment with the Los Angeles Basin, thereby implying a northern seventh segment as well. Sections are distinguished between, based on uh, asperity, bends, steps, and seismicity, the division of the Los Angeles Basin part of the fault zone into two segments is based on slight differences in geometry, seismicity differences, and the subsurface extent of the 1933 Long Beach earthquake rupture, designating one additional segment offshore. Working groups on California earthquake probabilities and uh, others identify three sections, the Newport Inglewood, Newport Inglewood offshore, and Rose Canyon, the latter including offshore faults north to Oceanside. The entire fault zone refers to as Newport Inglewood Rose Canyon Fault Zone, Newport Inglewood Fault Onshore Structure Zone, first recognized as a zone of folding in 1905, and then later in 1918 by Hamlin Associated Seismicity and Faulting in the Zone, first mapped and named as the Inglewood Newport San Onofre Fault, called Newport Inglewood Fault by Hoots. And, uh, it was the first, uh, there were those suggesting continuity to the Rose Canyon Fault in the San Diego area. 
offshore portions called South Coast Offshore Fault. Sections named from Fisher and Mills include Rose Canyon, Mount Soledad, Country Club, Mission Bay, and Old Town Faults. The Rose Canyon Fault was named by Hurt Lane and Grant, and it was named Country Club Mission Bay Fault as well as the Mount Soledad Fault. Uh, the Mountain Fault was previously applied to Rose Canyon Fault, and it was mapped and described in 1973 by Artem and Pickney, who also mapped the Morena Fault, which is part of the Country Club Faults. So you can understand that as the time goes by, they find more and more faults in that area. The geologic setting. This fault zone is a major structural element within the peninsular ranges, both onshore and on the north and the offshore region. The fault zone separates contrasting Mesozoic basement terrain, Catalina schist on the west, and metasediments, intrusives, and volcanics on the east. So you can understand, of course they have volcanics, that whole area has magma underneath. Let's remember that that's a magma also that is being fed by the Baja Peninsula. The magma, the mantle plume, the magma going to the west, into the west coast, high threat volcanoes, and uh, on the Walker Lane Fault System, one of them being the Long Valley Caldera, which is a supervolcano, and the eastern arm of that mantle plume, as we said before, goes into the area of Utah and up to Yellowstone Supervolcano. And as we saw before in our uh, maps, that area is uh, also under the area of Idaho that has been having the recent large earthquakes, the 6.5 that we had a couple of hours back today. And you'll see my previous videos on this. Then we had a 4.6, 4.4, uh, about 30 three earthquakes in total, um, most of them over three magnitude, the biggest being 6.5. Now, was that the major quake or is that just a foreshock of a major quake? We don't know. But it's only 190 miles west of Yellowstone. Now, um, the onshore Los Angeles Basin reach of the fault of this uh, Rose Canyon fault is marked by a northwesterly trending line of Northwesterly, as we said, that's the way the mantle plume is going as well. Trending line of generally uh, anticlinal folds and faults extending 40 miles from Newport Mesa to the Cheviot Hills along the western side of Los Angeles Basin. The zone is tentatively extended northward to Santa Monica and Hollywood Faults. The onshore structural zone is an important petroleum producing region. The offshore reach of the fault zone continues southeastward until offshore of Oceanside, where it bends, steps, and continues on a mere south-southeast trend, paralleling the coastline, of course. The Rose Canyon Fault comes onshore at La Jolla and is characterized by zones of compression and extension associated with restraining and releasing bends in the faults. The fault zone is locally more than one kilometer wide, and is composed of both dip slip and strike slip on Shillon faults that together extend from La Jolla Cove 40 kilometers to San Diego Bay and beyond on the south. And this was from um, USGS. Average strike, uh, right lateral sense of movement, right lateral dip direction it has here, and geomorphic expression. Large scale features include uplift of Soledad Mountains and depression of Mission Bay, intermediate to small scale features including pressure, pressure ridges, sag ponds, offset drainage, linear drainage, scarps, and benches. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on, not supported by YouTube guidelines. 
So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.